that goes, holy, holy God, holy, holy, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world, holy God, holy mighty body and the blood, soul, divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins. Those of the whole world. So, um, we have Divine Mercy, a uh, little, um, packets with, with uh, the prayer of the divine mercy and a, a rosary beads and there's a candle, there's oil, there's holy water and it's all blessed. There's one in Spanish and there's one in, in English. It's all free for you to take. It was a donation from, um, from Jeff. I forget his last name, but uh, what? I forget. Uh, yeah. No, it was, uh, what's his name? Who's that guy? Jeff, who does the Divine Mercy. Ooh. And then I'll, we also have um, uh, song sheets here. Our first song we're going to begin with, our opening song will be uh, Open the Eyes of My Heart. So um, we have pamphlets in the middle, and um, there's free rosaries of a packet. Um, there's some. There's one in Spanish and English, and um, we have a song sheet. We're going to begin the opening song, "Open the Eyes of My Heart." 
number 14. So, so please stand and join me in our opening song, Open the Eyes of My Heart. Welcome to the Divine Mercy Prayer Service. Um, so number 14, Open the Eyes of My Heart. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart, I want to see you, oh, I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord, open the eyes of my heart, I want I want to see you, to see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory, pour out your power and love as we sing holy. Shining in the light of your glory, pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy. You are holy, holy, holy. Holy,
In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends in Christ, the Lord is full of mercy and compassion. As we celebrate Divine Mercy Sunday, we rejoice in the Lord's outpouring of forgiveness and healing. Through our baptism, we share in the death of Christ and we're buried with him. May we also come to share in his resurrection. Let us pray. God of infinite mercy, you chose your humble servant, Sister Faustina, to be the apostle of divine mercy. Through her intercession, may we come to trust in you and to unfathomable mercy more fully. We place before you today our needs, the needs of our families, our parish, and the whole world. And we ask you to look upon us kindly. Help us to grow stronger in our faith. Works of mercy in our daily lives. We make prayers. Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to Titus. Brothers and sisters, we ourselves were once foolish, disobedient, deluded, slaves to our various desires and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful, hateful ourselves and hating one another. But when kindness and generous love of God our Savior appeared, not because of any righteous deeds we had done, but because of his mercy. He saved us through the bath of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he richly poured out on us through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in hope of eternal life. This saying is trustworthy. I want you to insist on these points, that those who have believed in God be more careful to devout themselves to good, good works. These are excellent and beneficial to ourselves. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
millstone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone by the Lord this has been done it is wonderful in our eyes this is a day the Lord has made be glad and rejoice in it. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. An excerpt, an excerpt from the Diary of St. Faustina, Diary 699. On one occasion, I heard Jesus say these words to me. My daughter, tell the whole world about my inconceivable mercy. I desire that the Feast of Mercy be a refuge and a shelter for all my souls and especially for poor sinners. On that day, the very depths of my tender mercy are open. I pour out a whole ocean of graces upon those souls who approach the font of my mercy. The soul that will go to confession and receive Holy Communion shall obtain complete forgiveness of sins and punishment. On that day, all the divine floodgates through which graces flow are open. Let no soul fear to draw near to me, even though its sins be as scarlet. My mercy is so great that no mind, be it human, or angelic will be able to fathom it throughout all eternity. Everything that exists has come forth from the very depths of my most tender mercy. Every soul in its relation to me will contemplate my love and my mercy throughout eternity. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. A reading from Holy Gospel according to John. Glory On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were open, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you are forgiven are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, put my finger into the nail marks, put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, the disciples were again inside and Thomas was with them. 
Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in the midst and said to him, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your fingers here and see my hands, and bring your hands and put it at my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. And through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. So I wonder if you're a little bit like me and that this is my Bible passage. We're a little bit afraid. I think you were 2,000 years ago, you'd be in that room and you didn't understand exactly what took place and now you're hiding. You're hiding because you're afraid. You're behind closed doors and you're not sure what's gonna happen next. And then the miracle takes place. Jesus is right there. And you're still not exactly sure what's going on, but Jesus is right there, and he shows you his hands. He shows you the wounds, and you start to understand, but you're still not really sure. You start to understand, and then you realize there's one of your group. There's a one that was too busy, too busy to be there with you all, a guy named Thomas. You know, the one we talk about all the time, the doubter, doubting Thomas. And he's the one, he's the one that I think may be like a lot of us, where we say, I just need proof. I just need to know. I need to know. He's trying to be a little bit in control, right? I need to know. That first event, that first event took place on Easter. And now we're hearing one week later. What does that make it? Today makes a divine mercy Sunday and Thomas is in that room now with them and Jesus comes and Jesus says here look here touch and then Thomas says those great words my Lord and my God can you say that can you say my Lord and my God Thomas needed to touch and we're so very blessed as Catholics because every time we come to Mass we do get to touch. We get to put our hand out and we get to touch Jesus because he will be put into our hands. But again, we sometimes are a little confused. We get a little lost. And sometimes we put barriers between ourselves and God. We, sometimes we put barriers there that we do ourselves. It can be challenges in our lives. It could be a health issue. It could be a loss of a loved one. It could be loss of a job. It could be worried about financial things. It could be just the stress of living. And we put that barrier between us and God. And then some of us do the other thing. We sin and we put that barrier between us because we think something is much more important than God because we want to be in control. We want to be able the one that says, I'm not going to believe until I can touch. And we have this great we have this great devotion that we're celebrating today. And this devotion is so very great because if you've joined me, and some of you may have done that, done the, the, the chaplet for the Divine Mercy over the last nine days, maybe you noticed that each day you focused on something. In the Divine Mercy, we hear atonement for our sins, the sins of the whole world. If you've done that chaplet, if you've done that chaplet's devotional, that novena, you would have started, you would have started with God, with Jesus saying to her, saying to St. Faustina, bring those people that are believers. And then you would have gone to maybe talking a little about the ones that we think are the real believers, the, the priests and the religious. And that would have made a little sidetrack where it says maybe those people that are a little bit lost. Maybe it's those people along the way on day three where we're saying maybe, maybe it's those ones that have lost their way a little bit. Then we're talking, as we go a little further down along the line, we're talking about those who are struggling but have an idea. 
Then we go a little bit further. We go a little bit further, and we talk about those people that have sinned and separated themselves from God. And then you start to realize he's talking about the whole world. And if that's true, even us in our brokenness, even us that is separated from God because we need proof, even us that have a focus on something else that we think is more important than God because we're just so busy in our lives, are offered the opportunity to have the encounter with God, to have the encounter with Jesus. And what is it we get to have the encounter with? When we come to this space, when we come to church, properly disposed, meaning we've gone to reconciliation, and we come and receive him, which means we get to touch him, just like Thomas, we get to touch him. We receive the amazing grace. The most amazing grace of all, and that is Jesus, even in my personal brokenness and maybe yours, loves each and every one of us. And all he's saying to us, come back to me. Come back to me. Because he is waiting right there for each and every one of us. How many of us can do that with someone who has hurt us? Someone who has put some barrier between us? Don't we sometimes judge? But Jesus is waiting. He's waiting for me and he's waiting for each of you. And all you have to do is say, please forgive me. I know I've done something that has separated me from you, but please forgive me. And you know what's going to happen? His hand will be outstretched. I visit a dear friend um, that is uh, losing his battle with cancer. His name is Ed Ashbaugh. And in his apartment, he has one of those great crosses. And I'm not sure if you've seen this cross or not, but this is a cross where Jesus is on the cross. His hand is still attached here. But this hand is reaching down with a dove attached to it, the Holy Spirit attached to it. And what Jesus is doing to each and every one of us today is we've had that encounter with Jesus because we're still in the Easter season, the octave of Easter. And his hand is reaching down to us off of the cross and offering each and every one of us the mercy and the grace that we all are striving for. So my friends, all you have to do is what Thomas did, reach out and touch. But we have to do it because we believe. We have to do it because we believe that what we receive at Mass is that exact same Jesus. We are so very blessed. Because as the octave of Easter is coming to a close, we get to focus on what Jesus wants each of us to have. And that's the peace. If you listen closely, if you listen closely, you'll hear him say, peace be with you. May the Lord truly bless each and every one of you, and may you listen. May you listen, because he wants to say that to each and every one of us. May his mercy just envelop you. May that peace that he's offering each and every one of us be accepted by us, because we've opened our hearts to him. God bless you. My brothers and sisters, we are gathered to celebrate the mystery of our salvation in Jesus Christ. Let us ask God our Father to open for all the world this fountain of life and blessing. For the church, that through the inspiration and guidance of the Holy Spirit, we may grow in our trust of the risen Jesus, who offers forgiveness and hope to the future. Let us pray to the Lord. For Pope Francis, that the risen Lord may grant him the grace and health and the strength to carry the cross with the suffering Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For our local bishop and all bishops, religious and minister of the church, that they may serve Christ with glad and generous hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all government leaders and civil authorities, that the wisdom of Christ will guide the exercise of their various offices, and that hated violence and war may cease. Let us pray to the Lord. For the sick and those who suffer for our dearly departed loved ones, including Richard Burgos and Robert Lynch. 
for those who are homeless and for those without employment, that they may find and, con and con consolation in our charity. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of us, that we may sincerely repent of our sin and participate with Christ. In the partial renewal, let us pray to the Lord. For all people who experience a life of suffering, that they may not give in to discouragement, but overcome it with the strengths of faith, knowing that gathered together with their brothers and sisters, Christ will hear their prayers and grant them victory. Let us pray to the Lord. For Christians who doubt and have lost faith, that they may believe, and for those who passionately search for truth, that they may be illuminated by the risen Christ, for there is no other name which we are saved. Let us pray to the Lord. For families and family life during these troublesome social changes occurring in the world today, that the role of the family and its vocation to bring forth life may properly appreciate properly appreciated, and truly become a school of faith and values, we pray to the Lord. For ecclesial communities, strengthened by the heroic witness of the martyrs of our times, that with unwavering and renewed courage, they may proclaim Jesus Christ, the Redeemer of man, let us pray to the Lord. For world peace, and that all churches may be united under the one true faith, we pray to the Lord. For all those devoted to the service of their brothers and sisters, and all those who care for the poor, the elderly, the sick, and the strangers, we pray to the Lord. For our community, that with great confidence and fortitude, we may give witness to the resurrection of Jesus Christ, we pray to the Lord. For the people of God, that we may heed the message of mercy and by the prayers of St. Faustina, practice the works of mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, hear the prayers of your people. Give us what you have inspired us to ask for in faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Chaplet of Divine Mercy. Though expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O mountain of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in thee. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in thee. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in thee. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered on the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. The living spirit, the holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints,
First sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the world for the sake of the sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the world for the sake of the sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the world For the sake of the sorrowful passion Have mercy on us and on the world For the sake of the sorrowful passion Have mercy on us no, no world for the sake of the sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us, no, no world for the sake of the sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us, no, no world. For the sake of this sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of this sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake. Sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging at the pillar. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood. Soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake. The sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of the sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the world For the sake of his sorrowful passion Have mercy on us and on the world For the sake of his sorrowful passion Have mercy on us on the whole world for the sake 
of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of a sorrowful passion Have mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of a sorrowful passion Have mercy on us and on the whole world Sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood, the soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son. Our Lord Jesus, Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake. Sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. 
Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake. Sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, no, no world for the sake. Sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, no, no world for the sake. Sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake, sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake, sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins. And those of the whole world for the sake of sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake. Sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, no, no world for the sake. Sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, no, no world for the sake of sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of 
sorrowful passion have mercy on us on the whole world for the sake sorrowful passion have mercy on us on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us on the whole world for the sake of sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake. Sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world for the sake of the sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the world. Holy God. Holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, whom is mercy and endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase a mercy on us that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. St. Faustina, pray for us. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in thee. Jesus, I trust in thee. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Litany in praise of the divine mercy. Our response will be, I trust in you. Divine mercy gushing forth from the bosom of the Father, I trust in you. Divine mercy, greatest attribute of God, I trust in you. Divine mercy, incomprehensible mystery of the most blessed trinity. I trust in you. Divine mercy, unfathomed by any intellect, human or angelic, I trust in you. Divine mercy, from which wells forth all life and happiness, I trust in you. Divine mercy, better than the heavens, I trust in you. Divine mercy, source of miracles and wonders, I trust in you. Divine mercy, encompassing the whole universe, I trust in you. Divine mercy, descending to the earth in the person of the incarnate world, I trust in you. Divine mercy, which flowed out from the open wound of the heart of Jesus, I trust in you. Divine mercy, enclosed in the heart of Jesus for us and especially for sinners, I trust in you. Divine mercy, unfathomed in the institution of the sacred host, I trust in you. Divine mercy in the founding of our of holy church, I trust in you. Divine mercy in the sacrament of the holy baptism, I trust in you. Divine mercy in our justification through Jesus Christ, I trust in you. Divine mercy accompanying us through Jesus Christ, I trust in you. Divine mercy embracing us, especially at the hour of our death. I trust in you. 
Divine mercy, endowing us with immortal life. I trust in you. Divine mercy, accompanying us every moment of our life. I trust in you. Divine mercy, shielding us from the fire of hell. I trust in you. Divine mercy, in the conver conversion of her den sinners. I trust in you. Divine mercy, astonished of angels, incomprehensible to saints. Divine mercy, unfathomed in all the <coughs> mysteries of God. I trust in you. Divine mercy, lifting us up, lifting us off every misery. I trust in you. Divine mercy, source of our happiness and joy. I trust in you. Divine mercy, in calling us forth and nothingness to existence. I trust in you. Divine mercy, embracing all the works of his hands. I trust in you. Divine mercy, crown of all of God's handiwork. I trust in you. Divine mercy in which we are all immersed. I trust in you. Divine mercy, sweet relief for anguished hearts. I trust, trust in you. Divine mercy, only hope of despairing souls. I trust in you. Divine mercy, repose of hearts, peace amidst fear. I trust, I trust in you. Divine mercy, delight and ecstasy of holy souls. I trust, I trust in you. Divine mercy, inspiring hope against all hope. I, I trust, trust in you. Together, prayer of entrustment of the world to divine mercy. Together, let's recite the prayer of entrustment of the world to divine mercy. God, God merciful in your, in your Son, Jesus Christ, who have revealed your holy and poured it out in the, the Holy Spirit, the, Holy Spirit, the Comforter. We entrust into you today the destiny of the world, of and every man and woman. Bend down our sins and us, heal our weakness, conquer all evil, and grant us the evils we have. May experience your mercy in the, tri the triune God. May they ever find the source of hope, eternal Father, by the passion and resurrection of your Son, have mercy on us. Veneration of the Divine Mercy image. Together, O Eternal of Love, you command your sacred image to be painted. Now let us meditate while gazing upon the image of Jesus uh, that Jesus asked a Sister Faustina to have painted. You may use the ABCs of mercy to guide your reflection.
closing song is number five, Great Are You, Lord. Starting with the bridge. will shout your praise hearts will cry these bones will sing great are you Lord and all the earth will shout your praise hearts will cry these bones will sing great are you five all the earth will shout your praise hearts will cry these bones will sing great are you Lord it's your breath in our lungs so we pour out our praise Pour out our praise, it's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise to you only. It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise, pour out our praise. It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise to you only. Great are you, Lord. You give life, you are love, you bring light to the darkness, you give hope, you restore every heart that is broken. Great are you. Praise, it's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise to you only. Great are you, Lord. Oh, great are you, Lord. And all shout your praise hearts will cry these bones will sing great are you Lord and all the earth will shout your praise hearts will cry these bones will sing great are you will shout your praise hearts will cry these bones will sing great are you Lord thank you that concludes our prayer service thank you all for coming
I just feel the Lord just saying that you are a light to the world, and that you just carry your light. He's so proud of you. He's so thankful. You're just, you're just it's amazing, like, like the light that you carry your faithfulness. <coughs> and I just see the Lord just like, he's like turning up. <coughs> he's turning up that light. bring more people to him. Crazy. Thank you, brother. Thank you.